We are in Lincoln Park with Maria Menounos, who just happened to be jogging through the park for some <laughs> inexplicable reason. So. Well, not really an inexplicable reason. I'm here to support the Live Strong Foundation, and I love Chicago. It's like my second home, and so any chance I get to come back here is fun for me. Okay. And rumor has it you'll be coming back to Chicago as part of a book tour for the Every Girl's Guide to Life. Does that sound accurate? That's true. I'll be back here uh, in a few weeks, I think on the 24th and 25th, um, for my book tour for the Every Girl's Guide to Life, which is an A to Z guide for women to do everything better, faster, cheaper. It's all my tips and secrets that I've learned in the 11 years I've been in this business from the biggest stars, the best experts, and we cover everything from organization to fitness to how I lost 40 pounds to healthy recipes, um, beauty, fashion, all kinds of tips. How, how do you lose 40 pounds? <laughs> It took me a little over 11 months. Okay, I was going to say, you can't do it all at yeah, once. Yeah, and I document in the book exactly how I did it. And really what I did, the biggest thing I did is for one week, I wrote everything down that I ate, down to the lifesaver I have. Because we don't realize how much we're eating in a day. I found myself all the time saying, oh, I barely eat. I don't eat that much. And then when you write it down, you realize, oh, I do eat a lot. And so I identified my problem, and my problem wasn't sweets necessarily, it was carbs. And so I decided to cut back, just a little. I was never on a diet, I just said I'm gonna cut back one slice of pizza every time I go out to eat pizza. Or, you know, one bite full of pasta. Little by little, I did it very slowly, and I lost 40 pounds. And I have to think at some point, exercise factors into all that. Yes. Well, the first 20 was really controlling what I was taking in. And then the last 20, I incorporated um, working out. And so I share the exact workout I did back then with everyone. I even have my food charts, because I used to keep charts of everything I was eating, what I did for a workout, so that I stayed inspired and connected to what I was doing. Now, as part of Every Girl's Guide to Life include uh, sports at some point? Yes, I do talk about sports, and you'll see my love of sports throughout the book as I'm photographed with my Celtics jerseys and my Patriots jerseys. Something says it'll be a Celtics jersey. Yes, of course. I love my Celtics, you know that. I, it's, it's very <laughs> well documented. Any, any photo that comes across, it, it's generally you in a Celtics jersey at an NBA game. Got to show my support, you know. <laughs> any love for the Bulls? Oh, you know. Or is the rivalry too intense? The rivalry is intense enough. Uh, you know what, I just love my Celtics, period, end of story. I don't love anybody else. Um, I do enjoy watching the Celtics play the Bulls because I love Derrick Rose and Rajon Rondo going head to head. And so when I interviewed Derrick Rose at the um, NBA All-Star game, I asked him and he goes, yeah, he's definitely tough. And you know, it's, it's definitely a rivalry and it's fun to watch. You get to all the good sporting events. You were at the Super Bowl. How was that for you? Super Bowl was amazing. It was so much fun. I hosted the pre-show for Fox and I love going to the Super Bowl. It's, it's one week where you're almost like at camp. We're all going to the same events, we're all going to the same thing, so it's so much fun. And then I did the All-Star game as well. And, uh, you know, I play in all the celebrity pro games. I'm the reigning MVP for the Madden Bowl game. And, uh, I, I mean, I'm a sports nut, I love it. Okay. Baseball? Baseball, yes. But, you know, baseball's a little slow for me. So I start to watch it in August. <laughs> I don't play it. Yeah. <laughs> when, when things start to get interesting. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you for bringing the beautiful weather, too, with you. Thank you. Well, this is beautiful weather. It's the perfect day to race. Excellent. Well, thank you. Thank you.